Matthew Henry's Commentary on the Whole Bible, 36 And Jacob was wroth, and chode with Laban, and Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin, that thou hast so hotly pursued after me? 37 Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge betwixt us both. 38 This twenty years have I been with thee, thy ewes and thy she-goats have not cast their young, and the rams of thy flock have I not eaten. 39 That which was torn of beasts I brought not unto thee, I bear the loss of it, of my hand didst thou require it, whether stolen by day, or stolen by night. 40 Thus I was, in the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from mine eyes. 41 Thus have I been twenty years in thy house, I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. 42 Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac, had been with me, surely thou hadst sent me away now empty. God hath seen mine affliction and the labor of my hands, and rebuked thee yesternight. Genesis 31 36 to 42 Commentary See in these verses 1 The power of provocation Jacob's natural temper was mild and calm and grace had improved it he was a smooth man and a plain man and yet Laban's unreasonable carriage towards him put him into a heat that transported him into a heat that transported him into some vehemence verse 36 37 His chiding with Laban though it may admit of some excuse was not justifiable, nor is it written for our imitation. Grievous words stir up anger, and commonly do but make bad worse. It is a very great affront to one that bears an honest mind to be charged with dishonesty, and yet even this we must learn to bear with patience, committing our cause to God. 2. The comfort of a good conscience. This was Jacob's rejoicing, that when Laban accused him his own conscience acquitted him and witnessed for him that he had been in all things willing and careful to live honestly, Hebrews 13. 18. Note, those that in any employment have dealt faithfully, if they cannot obtain the credit of it with men, yet shall have the comfort of it in their own bosoms. 3. The character of a good servant, and particularly of a faithful shepherd. Jacob had approved himself such a one, verse 38 to 40. 1. He was very careful, so that, through his oversight or neglect, the youths did not cast their young. His piety also procured a blessing upon his master's effects that were under his hands. Note, servants should take no less care of what they are entrusted with for their masters than if they were entitled to it as their own. 2. He was very honest, and took none of it for his own eating which was not allowed him. He contented himself with mean fare, and coveted not to feast upon the rams of the flock. Note, Servants must not be dainty in their food, nor covet what is forbidden them, but in that, and other instances, show all good fidelity. 3. He was very laborious, verse 40. He stuck to his business, all weathers, and bore both heat and cold with invincible patience. Note, men of business, that intend to make something of it, must resolve to endure hardness. Jacob is here an example to ministers, they also are shepherds of whom it is required that they be true to their trust and willing to take pains. 4. The character of a hard master. Laban had been such a one to Jacob. Those are bad masters, one, who exact from their servants that which is unjust, by obliging them to make good that which is not damaged by any default of theirs. This Laban did, verse 39. Nay, if there has been a neglect, yet it is unjust to punish above the proportion of the fault that may be an inconsiderable damage to the master which would go near to ruin a poor servant. 2. Those also are bad masters who deny to their servants that which is just and equal. This Laban did, verse 41. It was unreasonable for him to make Jacob serve for his daughters, when he had in reversion so great an estate secured to him by the promise of God himself, as it was also to give him his daughters without portions when it was in the power of his hands to do well for them. Thus he robbed the poor because he was poor, as he did also by changing his wages. 5. The care of providence for the protection of injured innocence. Verse 42. God took cognizance of the wrong done to Jacob, and repaid him whom Laban would otherwise have sent empty away, 
and rebuked Laban, who otherwise would have swallowed him up. Note, God is the patron of the oppressed, and those who are wronged and yet not ruined, cast down and yet not destroyed, must acknowledge him in their preservation and give him the glory of it. Observe, 1. Jacob speaks of God as the God of his father, intimating that he thought himself unworthy to be thus regarded, but was beloved for the father's sake. 2. He calls him the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac, for Abraham was dead, and had gone to that world where perfect love casts out fear. But Isaac was yet alive, sanctifying the Lord in his heart, as his fear and his dread 